So, I'm exhausted actually. And so I've just got home and it's raining, so yeah. Um, and the tank lights off, so that means that uh, it looks lighter outside than it is. It's cloudy and it's raining. But the tank lights off, which means that I'm at, I've actually got some new fish. And these ones are like. I've been after them for about well over maybe two years, any species of these, because they're just a nightmare to find. Um, no one gets them in, they have to be wild imported, then they've been captive bred, and I am absolutely obsessed with weird fish. So I bought a pair of these guys, and if you look carefully, I'll get them in out of the double bag in a bit you can see their knives these are true knives these are gymnotiforms and these guys their, their scientific name is a uh, pretty long so what is it where is it it's, i've got it down on my phone well i did ah where is it Um, so it's a Sternarca, Sternarca rhinicus, Oxy, Oxyrhinicus, Chris, maybe. Um, so that's what both of them were meant to be and were ordered as. Although they are actually, a lot of gymnotiforms are sexually dimorphic. Gymnotiforms being true knife fishes, not like the Xeno Mr. Snigar I have in here. So these guys are true knife fishes, and I think one of them, the, there's a large one, that's either a male, I think, or um, it could be, uh, what's it, that, the same genus, but Meropsis, I think it is. And these are very similar looking to the um, elephant noses, but they do are very different fish. So if I open up the bag, and, so these guys, there's a lot of different knife fishes out there and a lot of them are micro predators. Um, a lot of the common ones, well there's only one common knife fish and that's the black ghost knife fish. I think it's, uh, I'll recognise the scientific name when I see it. And there's also brown knife fish and those are really what you might see. You might see gymnotus and gy these are all sort of macro predators that eat a lot larger they're still micro predators, but they still eat larger things than the majority of knife fish. And the majority are a nightmare to feed. They only feed on, say, um, live of the smallest food. It really depends on the size of the mouth. So these ones have actually been really tolerant and feeding on not just frozen, but dry. Um, one is bigger and can eat a lot more food than the other. And I think that could be the male. But I'm not sure. Okay, so it's dripping all over my lap. Oh, there we go. So you can see them better in here, and I'm going to post footage of them anyway. So this one, the browner one, I think this could be the male. And there's the um, black one, is I think a possible female. So I'm just going to float them up here. So, if you don't know, uh, basically, gymnotiforms use electricity, they're electric fish, and they use electricity to see, um, see their world and communicate with each other. I need to move this camera up because it's just not... So they use electricity to see their world, and that's quite interesting, there's not many fish that do this, Xeno Mrs. Nagari. Well, I have also, they do, they are more closely related to Mamoridas, which are African, they're, they're your elephant noses, um, your dolphin fish, I think that's the name uh, for it. And so Mamoridae generally use what's called, I think it's, uh, I think it's pulse um, electrical signals. These guys, some um, gymnotiforms use pulses and some use waves. These use waves. Um, and then you've got um, um, some of the close relatives to gymnotiforms. That is um, 
Um, so cause some of the close relatives to Memorial Day, so that's your um, Zeno Mrs. Nagari and stuff like that. Oh, they're rather curious things, these are. I'm just going to use my hands because I think it'll be a lot more delicate than doing damage the fins. And I'm quite used to handling a few fishes. And I don't acclimatise for long because I think it's just stressful. And it's just as easy just to put them in and then my fish are a bit strange with their locomotion. Locomotion mean movement. And then I'm just going to grab the other one. This one. Uh, I prefer not to use nets if anything a bit delicate with the fins. Um, yeah, so the Xeno Mistus Nigara might actually use waves. Some of the um, the other non Memorial Day, um, relative of Memorial Day, I can't remember its name, I think it's the Chilita Chilita fish, maybe. They use waves. So, and if in all logic, uh, I don't even have a net near me. I never have, I never have nets because I do have law card, eh? And I don't need nets. Oh, you're gonna finally. There we go. Probably not stress free as I wanted. Uh, um, so these use the amazing ability to see electricity anyway. And I don't know whether they will communicate at all with my Xeno Mistus Nigari. Um, of course with electricity they'll be able to notice each other and they might be able to read each other's signals. But I'll have to see how far that actually goes. So yeah, they're brilliant fishes and I should be, might be able to get them onto a pasture. The male only eats smaller food, or possible, I mean, possible female. Um, they're just exploring now, but I'm not going to turn the lights on. Um, they do have eyes, but they rely a lot on their electrosensitivity. And they are shy, slow feeders. More for a specialist tank, anyway. But it'll be interesting to see how they get on. I do, I just love weird anatomical features, weird physiology, I did do a lot of physiology at uni, um, of a whole host of different things and it's just interesting I think. So anyway, thanks for watching, I'm, I do updates, I want to do a video actually about electric fishes, more focused on knife fishes and their care, I won't be talking about your um, black ghost knife fish because I think it's overdone and it's way too big, way too aggressive, its mouth is massive. Compared to these guys will grow to a similar size and I will need to upgrade the tank. But their mouth is tiny, they ain't gonna eat everything. And that goes are way too popular, way too cheap. So I'd rather not promote them at all. Whereas these guys are a lot more manageable, but they are slow feeders, so they do need a specialist tank in their own right anyway. So, and I'll do more research into what species they are. They're actually daft and how they swim. Anyway, thank you for watching.